What's going on YouTube? Gone with DR Reptiles here. Today we're going to be going over the snakes that are in shed at DER Reptiles. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Alright, so we're going to start out with Charles Lucky Luciano. This is my spinner male. As you can tell, he's a little bit dull in color. He is in shed. Hoping that guy can prove out and become a proven breeder. Next we have Mr. Buck Barrel himself. The albino male I got from my neighbor. And if you remember right, all of these were in the water bowl in one of my vlogs and I noticed I mentioned that they was all in shed. And of course, they are. My male Mojave, Mr. Wyatt Earp, is in shed also. Gonna back up because he looks like he can strike at any moment. And we got two more in this little bunch. Mr. Clyde Barrel, my male albino. He's in shed also. And finally, Mr. Billy the Kid, my Pied Ball Python male, is in shed also. That's all my males that are in shed. So let's go over here and look at my females. Two of these gals are in shed. One of them is the huge, big Lillian Smith. She's actually in shed. It don't look like it, but she is. Hiding her head. She's, she's shy, but she's real docile. And if you remember, this is a girl that was in ovulation a couple weeks ago. I said she's going to go into shed, and I know I need more water in her water bowl. But, this would be her pre-lay shed. Very excited. This will be my first clutch of 2018. Hopefully in a week she'll shed out, and then 30 days after that, lay me a nice clutch. That is all of my girls that are in shed other than... My female Pied Paulina Maxwell, which is over here hiding in there. So I'm not going to bother her, but she's in shed also. Also, I mentioned last weekend in a couple of my vlogs about my rat chewing through tubs problem. And the tubs that I got or the tub that I got from Lowe's works great. So I went to Lowe's again today and I picked up five more tubs because I am going to switch all of my rats that are in the smaller rack, which I will show you. I'm going to switch all these tubs over to the Lowe's Home Depot tubs, or the Lowe's tubs, sorry. I'm going to leave the Home Depot tubs on this one because I do not have issues with chew outs on that. So I don't want to go through these and throw these away if I don't have to. Now eventually, when I do need new tubs, I might switch over. but. The Lowe's tubs are a little bit, the lip is a little bit skinnier than the Home Depot tubs. So I got to watch out there. But everybody's doing good. I went ahead and separated my males into two different, my breeder males into two different tubs. And I'm actually going to thin the herd a little bit because I got a couple males down here 
Let me see if I can find one of them that are growing up that I'm going to turn over into a breeder. Let me see if I can find him real quick. Nope, he's not in that one. Of course he's in the one that's... He might be in this one. No, he's not in that one either. So we'll keep looking. Oh, I think he's in this one somewhere. Uh, there he is. This guy here. I'm going to turn him into a breeder. I like how he looks. And I might... I don't know yet. I might turn that one into a breeder also. But... I like the ones that are, you know, a little bit discolored on the lighter side. Uh, I want to try to get away from the darker stuff and try to keep with the lighter stuff. Uh, they just look better to me, even though they all serve the same purpose. Um, I will have, you know, maybe one or two females or, you know, whatever. If they produce a dark one, that's fine. Because you never know. Some snakes want brighter looking rats. Some of them want the darker colored rats. I haven't really ran into that problem here. But I'm pretty sure that my male albino here, he's picky. He only wants the white rats. He don't like the ones with darker colors on them. So... We're going to test that out because I'm going to try to switch him over to live. Um, he hasn't really ate live in the past year, year and a half since my neighbor had him. So as soon as he gets out of shed, I'm going to try to get him switched over to live. If not, I'll try to do pre-kill or keep him on frozen thawed. So I'd prefer pre-kill, but that way I can, you know, do away with my frozen stash and be good. But with that said... I need my, snar my snakes to start eating because my rats are getting built up. But that is all I have for today. Uh, tomorrow I have rat cleaning to do. Today, later today, I'll be feeding. Um, I don't know how many is going to eat. Uh, I don't think I have any of my little females in shed. Let me look. She actually just shed, so I know she's not in shed. She's not in shed. There's probably going to be a new resident in that tub. You'll find that out Monday. I'm not going to tell you what she is either, or what it is. Oops. Guess we know it's a female. That's all you'll know. I'm not going to tell you the combo yet. Let's see here. Yeah, we got a female here going into shed. My little spot nose female. Big nose Kate. And what about Rose Dunn here? Let's look at her. Yep, Mrs. Rose Dunn's going into shed also. She's my biggest, biggest uh, little snake right now. So hopefully. Hopefully these girls will grow up quick, be ready to breed in a couple seasons. And that'll really expand and blow up DER reptiles. So I got to really get ready for next season because like right now I got 10 females that's going to possibly, possibly be ready to go. I don't have room for 10 clutches yet in my incubator, so... I gotta get me a bigger incubator or build me another incubator. So I got an idea of what I want if I can find it, but we will find that out whenever that day comes. So I'm not really pressed for time on that. But anyway, don't forget live YouTube tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Again, is that a good time for everybody? That's fine for me, sorry. Okay, so don't forget, live YouTube tomorrow night, 8 p.m. 
if you, if I need to change the time, not tomorrow, but from then on, let me know. I can do it at any time. If 8 p.m. will be fine Eastern time from now on, that's what we'll do. So don't forget, come see me tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, here on DER Reptiles, live on YouTube. And like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit that notification bell right over there. And go on over to Instagram and hit that follows button on DER Reptiles. Till tomorrow, I will see everybody later. Bye.